hybrid cloud, but what does that actually mean? In today's video, I'm going to explain the architecture of all the Vercada products focusing on cameras because as you can imagine, besides the management data, you also have to think about the video streams this device will transmit. If you've seen a demo of Vercada before, I'm sure you heard this term hybrid cloud. So let's decompose. First of all, cloud. This is super easy because Vercada, since its inception, has focused on redesigning physical security, having a cloud first approach, meaning that we as a business never were and most likely will never become an on premise solution. What does that mean for you? It means that you can have all these products that you see behind me that is cameras, intercoms, access control, alarms, environmental sensors, and so on, and not rely on servers and other third-party storage functions. If you are aware how traditional physical security works, you'll know that, for example, for a camera system, you'll need to scope your NVRs uh, or have a VMS running on a server. And even when it comes to data storage, that's something that happens outside the camera. Now, all those additional boxes means complexity and cost for whoever is deploying and managing that infrastructure. It means waiting in line to get the servers delivered, no matter how long the lead times might be, to then get it, finding a place for it, providing it with power and adequate cooling, keeping the operating system up to date, creating the redundancies, scaling the system, and creating a way that you can manage everything remotely as well, while not compromising the security of your business. Sounds complicated? I bet it does. And that's the reason why we exist here at Vercada, to achieve something that is impossible with a traditional on-premise architecture. That is on one side to simplify and make your life as easy as possible, while on the other hand, increase the resiliency and the security of the system. Now let's go back to this camera. As I said before, that's the only thing you need. Obviously, it does need to get power, which it will get via the same cable that will provide it with access to the internet. That's all. One simple ethernet cable that will provide it both PoE and the clean way out. It gets even better because this camera doesn't actually know or care about what your internet connection is. It does not matter. As long as the camera can get power and create an outbound connection through your firewall towards the Vercada cloud, that's all it needs. From then onwards, you'll use our command platform to configure and manage your infrastructure no matter where you are. As a side note, command is available on any modern browser and we do not require specialized operating systems or software to run it. So how is this camera capable of doing its job? And this is where the hybrid world comes in because the camera has a specialized chipset from Ambarella that will help it record the footage and then store it on an SD card that's built within the unit. So although you're using a cloud product, the actual footage still stays on premise, but now it's distributed amongst all the cameras you have. Now, if you think that's risky, let me tell you a few things. First of all, if one of these cameras malfunctions or somebody damages it, the rest of the system is intact. You can still work with it without any issues. Secondly, everything is encrypted, not only in transit, but also at rest. So if somebody were to take this at home and plug it in, in order to get to the footage, First of all, they won't be able to logically connect to it because this is not an on-premise system. And secondly, the camera will connect back to your command. So you actually see inside the home of the person who stole it in the first place. The Umbrella chipset also help us do a lot of the analytics on the device itself. When I joined Vercada a couple of years ago, I remember that our 
uh, license plate recognition was built in a way that the camera will just crop the license plate and then send it into AWS for the actual character recognition. But nowadays, we built all of this in-house and it happens on the camera. So what does that mean? More performance and faster operation. Just to give you an idea, it takes about five seconds from the time a car passes this bullet until you'll see the result populated in command. One of the main advantages of the camera doing most of the processes on itself manifests itself when you don't have access to the internet? It's a fair question, especially because a lot of the consumer grade cloud cameras don't record on themselves, thus are pretty much useless once the internet goes down. With Vercada, the camera still continues operating. And if you have one of our viewing stations, you will be able to plot as many live streams as you want on your existing screens. So your local monitoring team will not even know that the internet is down. They still have the visibility into everything that's going on. So let me give you a bit of a better idea on what actually happens to the footage. All the Vercada cameras will record the footage on themselves and the storage can go between 30 and 365 days of guaranteed onboard retention. And because of that, you'll only need to consider about 20 to 50 kbps of upstream bandwidth per camera. And this is to allow the camera to send not only metadata, but also thumbnails once every 20 seconds, so that when you log into command and try to view any sort of footage, the pictures that you'll see are as close as possible to what's happening in real time. From time to time, the cloud will push firmware updates back on the camera. The camera will download them while continuing to operate. And once the firmware is downloaded, it will reboot itself to apply it and start operating. You'll then use command on any device that has a modern browser or on the bespoke apps we have built for Android and iOS. And every time you do so, you'll also need to consider the additional bandwidth that that puts on your ISP line. So going from 600 kbps for standard quality, all the way to two to three megs for high definition 4K. But if you are in the local area, if the camera has a routable path in the same VLAN or inter VLAN to the device that's requesting the footage, we automatically do local stream, bypassing the cloud and saving you not only bandwidth and cost, but guaranteeing a minimum amount of latency, currently at around less than a second. The thing that I mentioned before, offline mode, that allows you to still pull footage via viewing station in case of an internet outage, works on top of the local streaming. So if you have a local security team that sits in front of some screens and monitors the current situation, they'll still be able to understand what's happening regardless of the internet being on or faulty. Hopefully get, that gets you a better idea on how our systems work. And remember that all the Vercada devices use hybrid cloud. Take our access control units, for example. They'll have a local database so in case the internet goes down, people are still able to enter the areas that you designate as permitted for them. Logs will still be generated. And when the internet go goes back up again, the access controller will send all that information. So you don't even have missed events because of outages. As always, if you want to try this into your environment, contact us and we'll be more than happy to send you a free trial.